a Bible based game? Can a Bible based game be made? That's, you know, accurate. That doesn't take Jesus out of context, make him look like a wimp, make the disciples look so stupid and make them look like straight up idiots. Can it be done? I think it can be because this new video game that's coming out, hopefully in 2023 can make something like that happen. I believe it. Welcome to the Daily Thinker, where we talk about theology and basketball. Today, we will be talking about video games. Can Christians make good video games or good art in general? Because the notion around Christians is they make cringy and lousy content. They don't put enough effort into their work. This can be with music, video games. TV shows and movies. We seen movies that are cringy, TV shows that are cringy, music videos that are cringy, video games that are straight up cringy. We see I am Jesus Christ. Now, I don't know if this game is made by a believer or not, but that is definitely a cringy game. You have Jesus playing like he's Iron Man. He's fighting Satan with these lasers coming out his hand like, hand like he is Iron Man. And then you have to refill, recharge the Holy Spirit so you can be able to be effective. And so in this game, it also looks like that Jesus can be defeated. So you're taking all of these things out of context and you're making a whole new Jesus in the game of I am Jesus Christ. And it's not a great looking game either. We can see that this was made by probably one developer. So this takes a lot of work to build a video game so even with one team i can't just say hey you just did a lousy job because building a game by yourself is extremely extremely hard so but with one of 500 is a story driven action-packed game now when i say action-packed i don't mean you will be fighting the roman guards the soldiers or jesus will be knocking satan out with some lasers coming out of his hand but what i am saying that this is action pack because you will go on a adventure to learn about Jesus. Just from watching the trailer, I don't know if Jesus will be in the game. I think that he will be because this young fisherman boy at the end of the trailer, he asks himself and he says, Hmm, Jesus, this guy, this Messiah that's performing miracles, healing, and he even raised the dead. He opened his eyes and said, I need to see this for myself. So, that's what we have to see in this one of 500 game. This one of 500, to me, it looks amazing. The game is beautiful. The scenery is beautiful. The developers on this game, the team that's behind this, is taking this game extremely serious. They won't pay attention to every single detail, even the colors on the garments. Like during the time, you know, purple was expensive and green. It wasn't as expensive as purple, things of that nature. The Roman soldiers, they look good. And even the fisherman, boy, he looks good on here as well. So the textures of the game, it looks great. The visuals looks good. It's a lot of time been put into this game to make it look good. But will it play good? But I have a few questions when it comes to religious games. We've seen religion in games before. It's nothing new. God of War, we see that game that's literally about quote unquote gods fighting each other well little gods not real gods but fighting each other so that is a huge religious emphasis right there and even in guardians of the galaxy we see the matriarchy <laughs> this evil cult that manipulate people and make them think hey you will get your loved ones back just accept the promise and you have to defeat this guy and you have to make a decision even drax accepted the promise and he was going out of his mind in the game so we have religious themes in video games this is nothing new at all but the question is do we have games that just solely based on a religious text or a religious figure we don't really have that that much the game is solely based on that we have little you know dots and drops of religious emphasis on video games and in different movies heavily in society today but when it comes to just strictly bible based and around this religious figure or a religious figure we don't see that that often so this that makes this game unique and like i said the game looks amazing it looks absolutely amazing but these are 
couple of questions I have when it comes to making religious gain. The goal of the game right now from looking at the website, looking on their social media, the goal of the game is to you, for you to experience how it was to live at that time, to really immerse yourself in the religious day and the religious text, the Bible as well. So that's what the game looks like to me. I think that's the main point of the game. The main goal is for you to experience that. Now, could the main goal be also to for you to learn about Jesus Christ so he can bring you eternal life by accepting him after playing this game? Now you have more questions answered and you're more curious about Jesus. I think that's a goal for this game as well because that what <laughs> it looks like from just looking at the website or reading the website is for you to let yourself let yourself be challenged and experience the biblical story in a different way. Now, when I say a different way, I don't mean as taken out of context in a different way, but in a different way as of playing a video game and experiencing this type of environment. The target audience for the game. To me, it looks like everybody. Everybody needs to be playing this game, not just Christians, but believers and non-believers. So you can learn during that time how it look, how people act, how they interact with each other and things of that nature. So I think this game is trying to reach the masses. And I think that it can because the people behind this are not lousy or lazy. They're taking their time in development, trying to make this game amazing game like a game never done before. Can you make this game authentic and enjoyable? Will this game be authentic and enjoyable? That's the huge line because we see that I am Jesus Christ video game. It can be enjoyable, but is it authentic? Did Jesus have to recharge the Holy Spirit to be able to perform miracles? Did he have to fight Satan with lasers coming out of his hand? Did he even have to fight anybody during his time? No, we don't see any of that in the biblical text. So we see that's taken out of context, not making it authentic, but making it enjoyable for people to play. But one of 500 to me, it looks like they will make this game enjoyable enjoyable and authentic as well. And that's a huge plus because I just don't want to play a game about the story of Jesus and it be just, it's just fake. It's ha it has all these lies or twisting of scripture in the video game. I don't want any of that. I want a game that's enjoyable and authentic where I can play and say, Hey, this matches the biblical account of who Christ was and what he did. So that is a huge point for me. I hope the gameplay and the mechanics of the game is smooth, not really clunky, easy to move around in, and just enjoyable from that perspective because gameplay is huge and I'm pretty sure they're making a huge emphasis on that to make sure that the gameplay and the mechanics of the game is enjoyable. But to see a team like this doing something this amazing to a video game about Christ, how detailed it is during the time that he was living and making it look good and they want to stay on par with the biblical text that is amazing to see so christians make great stuff all the time they do amazing things all the time when it comes to movies music tv shows it can be done it's just it's a matter of who's doing it and the people behind one of 500 are doing an amazing job on this video game so far i'm excited to play it I'm really excited to play this game to see how it is, see if it lines up with the biblical text, see the environment during that day in Jerusalem. So that's something exciting to do. And I'm wondering if Jesus will be in this game or not, because it's about the fisherman boy. I think just episode one. So I think they will do this in episodes. I'm not 100 percent sure, but they'll do it in episodes. I think just episode one is just about the fisherman boy trying to learn more about Jesus Christ. So that's exciting to see. Hmm. Hopefully, man, <laughs> this game doesn't turn out bad at all. I don't think that it will by no means. I think it was supposed to come out in 2022 or 2021. They pushed it um, back a little bit. It's supposed to come out 2023. So this year, 
the game's supposed to drop and maybe they might push it back again. So we're waiting for a release, uh, a release date. I'm waiting. Hopefully we get a demo of some sort that we can be able to see the gameplay mechanics and how people move and how people interact with each other. So how the NPCs interact with each other and things of that nature. So I'm excited for this game. Will one of 500 stay true to the biblical text? Y'all let me know in the comments below. I think that they will.